It's the radio segment that's been watching raccoon vids on YouTube all morning. <laughs> Apparently, he's into whisker play. Uh, Laser oh. stories. <laughs> The segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser, and those other pudding buckets just don't. <laughs> His first laser story is out of Manitoba. I don't know. A 19-year-old guy named Preston Clay was drunk around 5 a.m. last weekend. And <laughs> someone called the cops on him for, quote, causing a disturbance. Yeah. Oh. Drunk teenagers, never a good thing. When the police showed up, the guy ran and then hopped in the backseat of a cab and said, quote, Take me to 17th Street, bro! <laughs> Ooh, it's like a movie! <laughs> There's just one problem. It wasn't a taxi. Oh. Preston had jumped into an unmarked cop car uh. and locked himself inside. All right. <laughs> 17th Street Precinct. Yep. All right, bro. Gotcha. So instead of taking him to 17th Street, <laughs> uh-huh. the undercover cops took him directly to a holding cell yeah. until he sobered up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In the end, they wound up releasing him without charges because the story was just too good on its own. Right. <laughs> I think he learned his lesson. Yeah. One officer commented saying, he just made it too easy for us, so we decided to go easy on him. Yeah. So that's what you need to do to get exactly. away with things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just go back to being 19 and drunk again. Yeah. This next laser story is out of the world of love, romance, and pepperoni. 27-year-old Alyssa Weish and her fiancé were supposed to get married this year, and they did a traditional wedding registry, but they also love pizza. Oh, Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? So they signed up for 40 bucks worth of pies on the Domino's wedding registry as well. That's awesome. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a thing. If you didn't know, go find Domino's wedding registry. You can register for a pizza on there. But they figured that maybe a family member would boost their mood with a little pizza party. Yeah. But what they got instead completely shocked them. A few weeks after the registry, Domino's emailed Alyssa saying that the company was sending her a surprise. Oh, okay. So like an extra pie or something? She figured it was a hoax. Oh, And she deleted the email. Yeah, as I would too. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sure you would. But a few days later, she visited her online registry to find that every item had been purchased. Oh my God! What? What? Domino's. A note read, did we just buy out all of your wedding registry? Oh, yes, we did. Congrats on your postponed wedding. Love, Domino's. Alyssa could not believe it. She still thought it was some sort of hack until all the (laughs) gifts started arriving at her front doorstep. I love how jaded we are in this country. This could not be happening. She's like, Marcus, spam, delete, block. (laughs) The pizza delivery giant had spent three grand to buy every single item the couple had registered for. Oh, my God. Miracle. That is so cool. And they weren't the only ones. Domino's paid for the wedding registries of five other couples as well. Oh, oh my so gosh. I love this Domino's. Domino's. Good, I know. Yeah, good job, Domino's. Meanwhile, Pizza Hut, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you at, guys? We still have stuff for us though. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh shoot, do we get on Amazon wish lists for people yeah. or what? I don't know. They're paying all the fans only girls, so all their Amazon wish lists. I mean, that'd be something yeah. at least. Yeah. <laughs> this next laser story is out of St. Petersburg, Florida. 39-year-old Daniel Albert Neha was so happy when he finally found his dream home. Yeah, who wouldn't be? It was a luxurious suite stocked to the brim with all the free food and free booze that he could consume. What? Only problem is it was highly illegal. Ain't nobody got time for that. What is his dream suite? It's because Daniel had unofficially moved into the downtown soccer stadium. (laughs) (laughs) He somehow made his way into the empty arena, (laughs) broke into one of the luxury suites, and just was living the high life. (laughs) Why do I love him for it? I know, I love it. I know it's illegal, but still. I support this. We've all wanted to do this. Yes, yes. He was there for two weeks, snacking and drinking, until a cleaning crew finally busted him. (laughs) One of them noticed there were blankets out on a couch and shaving cream with a razor. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta look good when you're in that luxury suite, man. Daniel wasn't just living there. He was shopping and dining, too. (laughs) Dude, living the dream. He'd stolen thousands of dollars worth of clothing and consumed 250 bucks in drinks. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. With two good. weeks, I feel like I could do more damage than that. I know. Yeah, 250 that bucks is what I spend on one night at the yeah. stadium. Yeah. So, <laughs> doesn't sound like very much. He was charged with burglary and resisting arrest. And afterwards, he was quoted as saying, The police are just wrong on this one. There's not supposed to be any evictions at this time. They broke the law. <laughs> He's, he, he makes a point. He does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this next laser story is out of the world of what if. Someone asked the internet what they'd give up forever if they never had to pay taxes ever again. Oof. And one in 20 people would give up their best friend. What? <laughs> Not to pay taxes? I wouldn't do it. My best friend's priceless. I don't think I could do that either. (laughs) How many of these things would you be willing to sacrifice, though? Okay. Watching sports. Yeah, easy for me. 43% said they would give up sports forever if they never had to pay taxes. It doesn't mean you couldn't play sports, Jose. You just couldn't watch them. Give up. I'm watching if I'm playing. I have to close my eyes while I'm playing soccer. No, that's different. (laughs) If you're playing, it doesn't count as watching. 40% said video games. Oh, for sure. Easy. 37% said alcohol. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Once you get used to not drinking, it's easier. 22% 22% said exercise. No, can't do it. Give up uh, exercise. I mean, like, I, that's I, a real sacrifice yeah. Yeah. for yeah. people. I pretty much live that way now, so <laughs> easy one on that one. 19% said their favorite food. Okay, yeah, I'm with it. I have a lot no of taxes. So I can get one away. Yeah, yeah. I can do that. I you would give that. up your favorite food? Oh, yeah, I like all food. I could find a new favorite. Uh, easy. I, I, mean, I do that over alcohol. Yeah. What if your favorite food is alcohol? Uh oh. <laughs> Solid alcohol? <laughs> yeah. A frozen cube of margarita. Yeah. <laughs> Next was TV. Just 12% said they'd give that up to not pay taxes. If I could play video games, then I could give up TV, but I couldn't give up both. Oh, I could. I could give up all this stuff. 6% said they would give up their cell phone for life. No. Again, Absolutely I would definitely not. give up my cell phone. I, I hate it. this thing. The addicted. only thing I would keep over taxes is my best friend, and that is it. <laughs> and then I am not very attached to things, apparently. Finally, driving and riding in cars. Only 5% would give that up. Well, you get a horse. Yeah. Good to go. <laughs> that would be so cool. I wonder what it would take for this guy to give up what he likes doing. Mm. I don't think you could buy him off, though. You don't think so? No, money can't buy love. Uh, Especially when the love is happening at mock speed. That's the sound of a laser hump. Uh, no, a turtle humps the yeah. shoe. Yeah, yeah. Well, the lasers are there, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes they get in on it together. But I it like means, to watch. Yeah, it means Laser Stories has come to an end for the day. We'll do it again same time on Wednesday.